that the uh, female spider reproduces from the male spider and then she kills him and throws him outside the home and then when the kids grow then when the kids grow they also kill the moth spider and they uh, throw her outside the home technically it was discovered that the spider's home is the most bizarre home it's the worst home ever built and it was described in the quran in one verse in Surah al Kabut, verse 41, it says, And those who take allies other than Allah is like that of a spider who takes a home. And indeed, indeed, the weakest of homes is the home of the spider, if only they knew, is how the verse ended. SubhanAllah, people always knew the physical weakness and the flimsiness um, of the spider's home. But only in this era were they able to make the connection and comprehend comprehend the moral and the spiritual weakness of the spider's home. Hence why at the end of that verse it says, if only they knew. Still, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had named an entire um, chapter, an entire surah after this creature. He spoke about the actual spider in one verse. Um, the rest of the surah was about fitan, sins and temptations. Literally, the second verse in Surah Al Ghabut says, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. And do people think they're going to say, We believe, but they're not going to be tempted or tested or tried? Technically, what's the connection between sins and temptations and the spider's home and the spider's web? Why was that connection made in the Quran? If we actually ponder into it a little bit, we'll realize that the connection and the battle um, and intertwinement of fitan and temptations is figurative. Figuratively, it's like the spider's home, the spider's web. Temptations are everywhere. There's a lot of them, and sometimes they're very intertwined and connected, very connected. Where sometimes it becomes very difficult for the fitan or temptations to be individually distinguished, and that's why why the comparison was there. A human who falls into the trap of temptation and sins is like a human who figuratively falls into a spider's web. Here's the thing, if we decide to leave that trap through seeking our Lord with His power and our will, that trap becomes that trap becomes very weak, just like the spider's web, it gets demolished with the touch of the human. SubhanAllah, I just thought that that connection in the Quran was very fascinating, uh, very interesting. May Allah protect us from any of the